Today I'm going to discuss something which is very important for everybody, not only for the doctors or the paramedical people. For every layman, it is very important because it's a life-saving procedure and it forms an important component of basic life support. And when do we do this? This is done in a scenario called as a cardiac arrest. The immediate maneuver which is done is called as a cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which I'm going to demonstrate in each individual step. So we need to recognize it, whether the patient is really in a cardiac arrest. And the idea of doing a cardiopulmonary resuscitation is, you need to pump the heart so that the blood gets circulated to the brain and the other parts of the body. That is the main intention. So we need to know when the cardiac arrest has happened, you need to understand and also how to perform a proper cardiopulmonary resuscitation. If it is not done correctly, then the chance of him getting the blood circulation to the brain and the other parts of the body is less. So this is what we have to learn. The most important step in the case of a, a basic life support is, the first one is rescue safety. The second one is recognition of the cardiac arrest. And the third part is starting the cardiopulmonary resuscitation as early as possible. So rescue safety is very important because a cardiac arrest can happen anywhere. If you're walking on the road, if you're in a movie theater, or if you're somewhere near the water source. The rescue safety, the scene safety is very important. So you need to bring the person who's had a cardiac arrest towards a safer area and keep him in a flat surface. For example, this person is an adult and he has had a sudden collapse. So the first thing is to recognition of a cardiac arrest is you go near the patient or the person and you shake him and look for his responsiveness. Sir, are you awake? Hello, sir. So there is no response. Simultaneously, you also look for his breathing efforts and he is not breathing at all. That means the patient is unresponsive. The next thing what you have to do is check for pulse. Where do you check for pulse? You check for pulse at the level of carotid artery. That is at the side of the neck. You have to keep two fingers and feel for the pulse because this is where even the most insignificant pulse is felt. And if the pulse is not felt, that indicates that the patient is in cardiac arrest. That is when you have to go for a cardiopulmonary resuscitation, that is CPR. So before this, what we have to learn is you cannot do it alone. And you also always you need a help whenever you're performing a CPR. So immediately you have to notify a bystander who is next to you, or you can always contact the emergency medical service before performing the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So I'm going to tell you and show you how you're going to do the cardiopulmonary resuscitation in an unresponsive, unresponsive patient. The position is at the middle of the chest between the two nipples. Interlock the fingers. Keep it at the level of between the two nipples. In the middle, exactly at center. Lock the elbows. Whenever you give CPR, it has to be 5 cm depth and it has to be 100 compressions per minute. So, so after every 30 compressions, you have to give a rescue breath, pinch the nose, head tilt and chin lift, open the mouth, two breaths, look at the chest raise, continue with So flat surface, two fingers, two rescue points. Continue with 